everyone, welcome to the Chem Channel. This is Xue Hang. Today, I'm going to present two perspective papers about 2D transition metal carbide nitride maxings. 2D materials have been widely researched for the past 15 years. Among all 2D materials, 2D maxings have attracted academic and industrial interest due to their attractive properties, such as metallic electrical conductivity and tunable surface functional groups. Today, I will show the large potential of maxing-related research. A link to these two papers are offered in the description of the video below. Please refer to the original paper for more information. So first, what is maxing? Maxing is a large family of 2D transition metal carbide nitride or carbon nitride. In a 2D flake of maxing, there are N plus 1 layer of early transition metal and a layer of carbon or nitrogen. The early transition metal layer are interleaved with layers of carbon and nitrogen. Both sides of a maxing flake are covered by surface groups, such as OOH, fluorine or chlorine. Those surface terminations are bounded to the outer metal layers. So the general formula of maxing is M plus 1 Xn Tx, where M represents the transition metals, X is carbon or nitrogen, and Tx is the surface groups. The first maxing Ti3C2 Tx, or titanium carbide, was discovered at Drexel University in 2011. Besides the M3X2 structure, there are also 2143 and also 54 structures. When two transition metals are mixed in a maxing structure, the solid solution can be formed, such as titanium and nylon carbide. In the solid solution maxing, the two metal species are completely mixed in the M layers. The formation of solid solutions on metal or the X sites offer possibilities for the synthesis of an infinite number of non stoichiometric maxings and attractive opportunities to finely tune properties by mixing different transition metals or creating carbon nitrides. More interestingly, transition metal can also form other structure in a single 2D maxing flake. It is possible to form atomic sandwiches of transition metal plane, such as moly 2 tic 2 tx and in plane order structures. Here is a periodic table shows the elements that are evolved in the max phases and maxing family. The rush in synthesizing new order 2D carbide phases brought excitement to the max phase research community. Since 2017, researchers have synthesized about 30 new ordered double transition metal max phases and explored their properties. However, the elements with blue strip background are only reported in the max phases, and their maxings have not yet been synthesized. The elements on the red background are the A elements in max phases that can potentially be selectively etched to make maxings. For now, the majority are etched from the max phases with alumina and silicon as A elements. The gray color marks the X elements. There are ongoing attempt to produce 2D borides and thereby to add another X element to the system. Various ions can reversibly intercalate and deintercalate into the interlayer of maxing. The green background shows the cations that have been intercalated into maxing to date. Based on the DFT simulation, surface chemistry is found to have strongly effects on the Fermi level of maxings. All terminations always increase the work function with respect to the bare surface. OH always decreases it, whereas F exhibits either trends depending on the specific materials. The relationship between the surface chemistry and the work function conductivity transition to our superconducting states, magnetism and energy storage capacity of various maxings have been established. For example, the oxygen terminations exhibiting the highest theoretical capacity for proton and lithium ion intercalation. Hence, it is crucial to control the surface functional groups of maxing. So typically, when maxing is etched in the acidic solution, the surface termination is a mixture of OOH, fluorine, or chlorine. In order to produce uniform terminations, molten salt methods was developed. Etching max phases in zinc chloride molten salt produces maxings with exclusive chlorine terminations, such as Ti3C2Cl2 or Ti2CCl2. 
In a science paper published in 2020, brown mite terminated vaccines can be obtained by action of max phases in the molten salt. The bromine groups can be substituted with oxygen, sulfur, talonin, and NH groups, as well as produced defunctionized vaccine surface with no functional groups. As discussed in the previous several slides, vaccines have a large and a diverse family. There are currently more than 30 different experimental made stoichiometric vaccines and more than 100 theoretically predicted composition with distinct electrical, physical, and electrochemical properties. In addition, solid solution on M and X sites are possible, and the possibility of having multiple single or mixed surface terminations. However, more than 70% of all the vaccines researchers has focused on the first discovered vaccine, the titanium carbide vaccine. To date, the large unexplored family of vaccine and their unique combinations of properties opens the door to a variety of different applications. The first explored application of vaccine was in energy storage. As shown as the Greek color in the pie chart, energy storage remains a large proportion of vaccine activities. The use of MAX in the biomedical field has become one of the hottest research topics with studies on photosomal therapy of cancer, seronostics, biosensors, dialysis, and neural electrodes. Maxine also shows promising performance in electromagnetic applications, including electromagnetic interferences, shielding, and printable antennas. Leading experts in the Maxine field assemble a list of open questions in the field. The list focused on the state of the arts and the key issues for vaccine research and development, as well as the future opportunities and challenges in the field. I only screenshots are part of the list here. Please go to the original paper for the complete list if you are interested in vaccine researches. It has been a year since I uploaded the first video to this YouTube channel, and thank you for your comments and support so far. We read your comments and try to make videos that could be helpful to research. We maintain this channel only on the weekends. The videos in our eCam channel are only for educational purposes and knowledge sharing. Please subscribe, share, and like our videos to support our channel. Thank you for watching the video today. See you next time.